Thank you. Please be seated. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. Today, the chamber will hear the testimony of the Reverend M. Pung. Du Venerable M. Pung. In fact, he has been invited to testify uh, last week. Il a été invenu, invité à venir déposer la semaine However, dernière. However, due to the hearing of Mais the testimony of uh, an expert, nous avons dû his uh, testimony has been postponed until today. Nous avons dû repousser à plus tard la the reference has been informed of the rights and obligations as well as questions concerning his uh, background has been asked by the chamber. Therefore, it is not necessary for parties to inquire about the, the background of the uh, reverence in order to save time. And Ms. Sekolwuti, could you report the attendance of the parties and individuals to today's proceedings? Sekolwuti, Mr. President, for today's Monsieur proceedings, Président, all parties to this case are present, except for Mr. Nunchi, who is present in Monsieur the holding Nunchi cell downstairs, as he requests to have his right to be present in the main courtroom. His waiver has been delivered to the uh, Grefje, and the witness today, that is the Reverend Ampung, is present in the courtroom. We also have a reserve witness through TCW934, and through his uh, knowledge, he has no relationship by blood or by law through any of the two accused, Nunchi or Kirsten Paul, nor to any civil party recognized in this case. The witness will take an oath before the Iron Statute this morning at, at 10 a.m. before his testimony. President, thank you, Mr. Sakobuti. The Chamber now decides on the request by Nunchi. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nunchi dated. 16 February 2015, who states that due to his health, backache, dizziness, and headache, and that he cannot concentrate for long, and in order to prepare for effective participation in the future hearings, he was his direct present in the courtroom on 16 February 2015. Nucci has been informed by his counsel about the consequence of this waiver, that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during his trial. Having seen the medical report of Nunchi by the duty doctor at the ECCC, dated 16 February 2015, who notes that the health condition of Nunchi in general, remains unchanged. He has a severe backache, dizziness, and cannot sit for long, and recommends that the chamber so allow him to follow the proceedings from a holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 8, Five of the ECCC internal rules, the Chamber grants Nunchi's request to follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs via a visual, audiovisual uh, means. And as he waves his uh, rights to be present in the main courtroom, the AV unit joins Chanty to link the proceedings to the holding cell downstairs so that Nunchi can follow it remotely. And that applies for today's proceedings.
The chamber would also like to inform the parties that today, due to the limited resources of the uh, interpreters in the booth, the uh, ITU and the chamber tries our best uh, to provide the, the service during the proceedings. For that reason, we request the parties to put questions slowly and leave sufficient pause between question and answer session so that the interpreters can properly interpret the proceedings. We would like now to hand the floor to the prosecution to put Je questions to Reverence M. Pum. You uh, please wait, and Council Coupe, you have the floor. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours, Council. Um, Mr. President, I'm sorry to stand up uh, before the prosecution will start asking questions to the witness. Um, but I would like to raise this issue uh, now because I think it's uh, relevant to this witness and it is an important issue. Um, you might recall uh, three weeks ago I stood up as well uh, and asking clarification about four new statements um, added to our case, to the case file, uh, four statements coming from the investigation of case four. I asked um, for clarification and I asked um, on the 26th of April 2015, and I have the transcript in front of me, um, uh, English ERN 01060391, French 01060293. Slash four and Khmer zero one zero six zero eight eight six until page seven. I asked, um, and I literally, and I read now from the transcript. Um, I say my second question would be if these four statements, the release of these four statements, um, is that's it. Or are there more to come in relation to the second end of my own quote? Um, the prosecutor, Mr. Lysak, replied, and I will read his answer to you again. And he, he says the following, and I quote again. Uh, there have been some additional statements. None of them, to my knowledge, involve trial witnesses, but requests have been made. And when authorization is provided for these new statements, they will be disclosed too. But they do not relate to trial witnesses. And then he says, and I quote, it's a pretty small number to my recollection too. Um, last Friday, we were informed by the prosecution dernier, that another 20 statements coming from case 4 um, will be served upon us this morning. Um, nobody came, so we didn't receive diffugué. them yet. Um, nous avons pas reçu. I'm not sure how the, the, the 20 statements relate to a pretty small number. Um, but what is more concerning is that si um, there is a strong rumor, and I don't know if that is correct. But that there are in fact hundreds of statements coming from case four uh, are on the way to be um, added to the case file. Um, now, if that is true, I think we have a serious situation because uh, we are ongoing with uh, examining witnesses. Uh, I do not know what is in these statements. I, you, you don't know. Also, I think. Um, so my question really is also in relation to uh, the earlier answer of the prosecution. Is this um, some uh, what, what some called after the Hungarian or Italian sausage, a salami tactics, feeding it uh, in, in small numbers, or is there something else going on? And I would really like to know because it potentially could um, affect this witness, I don't know. It could affect the next witness, I don't know. But if it's true that hundreds of case four statements are coming our way, I think 
that is unacceptable. Mais and then we need si le chiffre initialement maybe, I don't know if we will, but we need to 100, possibly request for suspending the proceedings until we are able to read all those um, So again, I apologize for bringing this up now, but I think uh, it could potentially uh, relate to this witness. That's why I'm asking the question. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour à tous. Uh, you, je ne peux que m'associer au nom de l'équipe de Monsieur Kiosantan aux observations de mon confrère Copé. Il y a un vrai problème uh, au niveau de la préparation uh, uh, des uh, équipes de défense. Nous avons bien compris lors de l'intervention de uh, uh, Monsieur Lissac la dernière fois qu'il estimait qu'il n'y avait qu'un petit nombre. Ce nombre grossit de jour en jour. Uh, nous n'avons aucune visibilité sur le nombre exact uh, de uh, déclarations qui sont à venir. Je pense que ça, c'est un point. J'ai bien compris qu'il faut uh, l'autorisation uh, des couches d'instruction, mais uh, les procureurs doivent savoir exactement quel nombre ils ont demandé uh, de déclarations en vue uh, de uh, communication. Ça, c'est un premier point. Le deuxième point est que... Um, des deux côtés de la barre, nous n'avons pas forcément la même vision the, uh, du dossier et la même vision uh, de ce qui est pertinent. Simply, uh, we, Donc uh, peut-être que du côté de l'accusation, uh, ils estiment que certaines déclarations ne sont pas utiles pour les témoins à venir. Ça peut être uh, une autre position de la défense. Et tant que nous n'avons pas en main ces déclarations, so tant que nous ne les avons pas lues, tant que nous ne les avons pas confrontées avec la preuve que nous sommes en train d'étudier, nous ne serons pas en mesure de faire notre propre opinion. Donc là encore, j'insiste sur le fait qu'il s'agit d'une question de préparation de la défense pour une bonne conduite du procès dans le cadre du contradictoire. Je sais que de l'autre côté de la barre, on nous a souvent mis en avant Uh, cette question du contradictoire, elle se pose également de ce côté-ci de la barre. Donc uh, nous demandons que uh, du côté uh, de la Chambre, il puisse y avoir uh, une demande de clarification sur le nombre exact de documents qui vont être communiqués en tout, ou dont la communication a été demandée au coach d'instruction, de façon à ce que nous puissions nous organiser uh, dans le cadre de notre travail de défense. President, the deputy co-prosecutor, do you have the floor? Co-avocat, pardon, l'accusation à la parole. Merci et bonjour, Monsieur le Président, Madame et Messieurs les juges, et bonjour à toutes les parties. Good morning to all parties. Tout d'abord, je tiens à déplorer que ce débat ait lieu alors que finalement nous avons peu de temps pour interroger ce témoin et qu'il est déjà maintenant 9h20. Mais je comprends qu'il y a un souci euh, du côté de la défense, certainement. Maintenant, il nous paraît complètement déplacé de parler de tactiques ou de rondelles, de saucissons, etc. Les coprocureurs ont une obligation de communiquer aux parties les procès-verbaux qui pourraient avoir un rapport avec le dossier 2, à la fois parce qu'ils peuvent contenir des éléments à décharge et également parce qu'ils peuvent concerner des sujets qui sont débattus devant cette chambre dans le dossier 2. Nous ne maîtrisons pas l'entièreté du processus, comme vous le savez, et c'est un processus continu. Nous continuons à recevoir des copies de procès-verbaux de manière continue, ainsi que des traductions. Donc, il n'est pas possible euh, de donner des chiffres immédiats et définitifs. C'est un processus continu. Euh, deuxièmement, il ne s'agit pas de tactique, mais nous dépendons de l'autorisation des juges d'instruction de divulguer certains de ces procès-verbaux. Et donc, nous ne pouvons pas aller plus vite que leur capacité d'analyse. Voilà. Alors, nous serons prêts, bien sûr, à clarifier tout ce que la Chambre voudrait savoir, mais je tiens à attirer l'attention des parties sur le fait qu'il s'agit d'un processus continu, qu'il ne s'agit pas de tactique, que nous faisons tout ce que nous pouvons pour divulguer les procès-verbaux pertinents aux parties en tant qu'ils et le plus vite possible. C'est ce que je peux dire à ce stade, M. le Président. Président, le International Lead Co-Lawyer pour les parties civiles, vous avez la parole. 
Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, President. Une remarque très courte, Just puisque nous brief sommes exactement dans la même position que les équipes de défense the exact same relativement à ces documents. Nous n'avons pas accès council. à l'instruction uh, du dossier numéro 4, donc nous n'avons aucune visibilité uh, sur there is no les documents qui nous sont produits. Nous sommes vraiment dans la même situation que nos confrères en face. Ce que nous pensons de ce côté-ci, c'est qu'il est essentiel à la manifestation de la vérité, que cette audition soit produite, que il nous incombe de nous organiser pour que nous puissions utiliser ces documents en temps et en heure. Et nous nous opposons de ce côté-ci de la barre à toute idée de suspension pour permettre aux partis de lire ces procès verbaux d'audition. Nous considérons qu'il est important que le procès aille de l'avant et que tant la défense que les partis civils s'adaptent, bien évidemment pas facile, mais s'adaptent à ce processus de divulgation qui est en cours pour que le procès puisse aller de l'avant. Is ongoing uh, in order to allow the overall process to continue. Very, very briefly, uh, Mr. President, um, in reply to the, the prosecutor's answer, I appreciate fully that co-investigating judges or of legal officers working for the co-investigating judges have to review um, these statements, these documents. But surely the prosecution knows how many um, documents they requested to be reviewed. I mean, there's a process of reviewing, but there's also a request. So is the rumor correct that there are in fact hundreds of statements uh, coming our way or not? And if, if, if not, what, what, is the, what is the number that we're talking about? So I think the prosecution will be very well uh, capable of giving an answer to that very concrete question.
The chamber would like now to keep the floor to judge friends to ask for a certain clarifications on this issue. Judge friends, do you have the floor? The first question is to counsel. Might have been a translation issue. You mentioned an ERN. That was a reference to your original question in court. Is that correct? Yes. Um, next question is to OCP. Refers to this witness only of the documents you are aware of and that are about to be disclosed, does any of them impact on this witness? Uh, my well, frankly speaking, Mme. Juge, no. Uh, no, um, Your Honor. Il n'y a pas de, de déclaration qui vont être soumises qui devrait avoir une répercussion immédiate sur le témoignage de, 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 de du Vénérable aujourd'hui. So much for this witness. Now for the general situation, which is obviously unusual and fluent and potentially problematic. My first, our first question is, and I'm not sure you haven't answered it anyway, but how many, can, can you make an assessment or are you aware how many documents will come or are still to come? Euh, Madame le juge, je n'ai pas Your ces Honor, chiffres en tête. Euh, si on, on m'avait envoyé un email, on aurait pu préparer et donner les chiffres exacts. Je ne les ai pas. Mais je pense que notre bureau pourra les fournir par email à toutes les parties au juge au courant de cette journée. During this day to all of the parties. I know that there are certain number of written records involving the work sites, that is to say the next segment of the trial, which are still being revised and analyzed by the investigating judges. And I think this represents about 60 documents, if I'm not mistaken. But as far as the rest is concerned, I won't be able to provide you with an exact figure. I risk, in fact, being mistaken. And um, I, I understand the investigation in these cases is still ongoing. To, to the best of your knowledge, the interviews produced now or in the next months, will they impact on case two? So can you say with any certainty how many documents are actually affected at this point in time? Euh, Madame le juge, il s'agit du secret de l'instruction. Nous n'avons pas accès à l'information de la part du juge d'instruction. Il protège euh, leur instruction, ne nous communique pas euh, ce type d'informations. Ce que je sais, c'est que probablement il y aura un certain nombre de procès verbaux qui pourront avoir trait euh, au mariage forcé, qui devraient encore euh, venir dans les, les semaines ou dans les mois qui viennent. Mais à part ça, je ne, je ne sais pas. Euh, Je pense que cette question, il n'y a que les juges d'instruction qui pourraient répondre. Well, as fluent and potentially problematic situation, the chamber will consider how to deal with it generally. As to this witness and based on the information we got from OCP, uh, we'll go ahead. Du témoin en l'espèce, eh bien, nous allons poursuivre l'audience. The president, um, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, you may proceed. Um, good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours, and all parties to uh, proceedings, um, and also uh, Reverend uh, M. Peung, M. Ratanak, I'm the National Co-Prosecutor of the ECCC. I have a number of questions. Uh, related to the treatment of the Buddhist monks and Buddhists from 1975 through 1979. Um, earlier, you told to the OIC, 
J three three fifty one thirteen E R N crash zero zero one sixty five two six three English E R N zero zero twenty two thirty one ninety seven and zero zero seventy thirty three two and you said that um, in nineteen twenty five you were evacuated. From Phnom Penh and to uh, further to Angraka Pagoda. I would like to know um, in that at that time, um, Angraka Pagoda, where was it located in a commune or a district? Respond, uh, Angraka Pagoda is in Chiang Tong Commune, uh, Tram Kok District, Takao Province, in uh, Chiang Tong Commune. In Tram Kok District, Takao Province. Question. Question. How long uh, did you take uh, from Phnom Penh to arrive on Angraka Pagoda in your trip? Response, yes. It took me a long time to be there. I don't remember. Uh, it took me about one month or two. Uh, I had traveled on foot from Phnom Penh to uh, the Pagoda. Question. Question. During your trip from Phnom Penh to Angraka uh, Pagoda, Angroka, uh -oh. did you receive any mistreatment or any uh, ill treatment from the Khmerus or any official of uh, the Khmerus along uh, the road? Response. Response. Along the road, I received no mistreatment, uh, nothing, because there were many people evacuated from Phnom Penh. Question. In addition to that, have you seen any mistreatment towards other Buddhists or any other monks um, along the road? Answer. When I left Phnom Penh, I didn't witness any mistreatment because there were um, many people evacuated and some other monks. Uh, other people uh, left uh, earlier and other left uh, later than that. But um, uh, along the road, we uh, we had difficulty uh, have a sleeping area and also food uh, shortage along the road. Se restaurer car il y avait pénurie d'aliments et il y avait également peu d'endroits où dormir ou se reposer. Question. Question. During your travel. Pendant votre voyage. Was it you who chose your destination to that pagoda, or uh, who did uh, the one who tell you to go to that place? Response. On the 17th of April, I was uh, in living in Sambu Mia in Phnom Penh, and uh, at 10 a.m. Uh, 10 p.m. and the liberated uh, soldier uh, ordered us to leave Phnom Penh. I asked um, where should I go and he told me that you should go to uh, your hometown. Uh, there were small uh, soldiers. Uh, I can say they were boys soldier. So where should I go, comrade? And he told me that you should go to your hometown. And I told him I was from Kampot. And he told me you should go there. And I uh, walked uh, from 10 p.m. until um, uh, early in the morning. Uh, I could uh, reach another pagoda in Nam Pen, not far. Question. Um, 
question. Uh, the final destination I would like to hear from you is uh, Angroka Pagoda. Did you have any option to to go to Angroka by Mais yourself or um, was it anyone who forced you or who uh, directed you to go to that pagoda? Response. Réponse. Because I uh, used to live there, so I was not forced to go to endroit. that uh, destination Donc, because I used to uh, live there uh, before. J'y suis allé parce que j'y avais vécu par le passé. Did you have any choice Question. other than Angroka for you to go? Pouviez-vous aller ailleurs qu'à Angroka? Respond. Si vous le vouliez. It was my hometown. Réponse. I used to live there. Mon village That's all natal. I can tell you. C'était là-bas que j'avais vécu. C'est tout ce que je peux vous dire. Question. Question. When you had arrived in Angroka Pagoda. En arrivant à la pagode d'Angroka, did you see other monks there? Y avez-vous vu Were there any moines? Uh, Buddhists who are lay people inside or around that pagoda? Des moines bouddhistes ou encore des laïcs Response. dans la pagode? Réponse. When I arrived in Angroka, um, uh, my um, monks teachers all uh, is uh, was there, and some other monks were also uh, stay in uh, Angroka. And they were all uh, coming to Angroka to stay uh, in that pagoda Tous when they arrived. Résider sur place. Question. Question. Reference. Uh, can you tell the court how many monks uh, were there Combien at the time? De moines y avait-il là? The president uh, reference uh, uh, please wait until the microphone is activated you can see it, uh, the red light on it so uh, could you please wait At that time, Réponse. I did not count the number Je of monks. Pas compté les moines. But uh, the monks were told to stay there and uh, they will uh, order them to uh, build a canal at Tropeng Andak. Um, and later they were sent Andak. to uh, do that uh, suite, construction of the canal at Tropeng Andak. À cet endroit, construire le canal. Question. Question. Earlier, you uh, told the court that uh, other monks were from other places and pagoda to stay in Angroka. Uh, did you know where they were from? Um, did you ask any of the monks uh, as you got the previous uh, pagodas? Response. Those monks who came to stay at Angroka, most of them la plupart de came from Takeo province. province de they were told to stay in this pagoda to be ready to, uh, to do other work et de se for a the new regime. Pour le nouveau regime. Question. Question. When you arrive at Angroka, and immediately after your arrival, Angroka, um, what, did, what did you do and après, who told you uh, to do that kind of uh, work? Et qui vous a fixé les tâches à accomplir? Response. Réponse. On my first arrival, I was not uh, ordered to do anything. But later, on ne m'a pas donné um, d'instructions uh, particulières. We were told that. Uh, you cannot be 
staying as a monk, any monk should, uh, should leave monkhood or should be the frat, and uh, they will not allow anyone to be in a monkhood. But um, at my first arrival, uh, we, are, we were not doing anything. Nous n'avons rien dû faire de particulier. To be ready Nous sommes restés for sur place. The next Nous order. avons attendu les ordres. Question: How long uh, did you stay Question. freely and not doing anything to Combien be ready for uh, the next uh, de temps order? vous êtes-vous tenu prêt en attendant les ordres à venir? Answer: Réponse. It was it was not uh, long. Because Anka will not let anyone to be free for longer. But all uh, we did during that time, we had to cook for ourselves, and we need to collect vegetables and uh, some supplies to be to cook for our meals. Ramasser des légumes et rassembler le nécessaire à la confection des repas. Uh, before the OCIJ, you uh, said that in document E3, 5 page 4 0 22 32 and French ERN page 4 and 5 ERN 0 0 70 23 35 through 36 you said that that um, after uh, a time they forced the monks to uh, grow cassava with uh, their rope on and no one will sow any monk at all so everyone had to work for the regime à ce moment ils ont dit il n'y a plus personne qui vous serve maintenant il faut quote, faire des travaux physiques comme tout le monde based on your statement to the OCIJ and your earlier statement to uh, the court, to the trial chamber, et de ce que vous avez ici I dans le know that there was a small discrepancy in your statement. Une légère contradiction so uh, which uh, of your response uh, would you stand by? Laquelle des deux réponses confirmez-vous? Um, respond. So réponse. could you tell me the discrepancy? I don't know. I, I don't understand. Contradiction? Je n'ai pas compris. Co-prosecutor, the discrepancy was that um, you, said, you say here before the chamber that after barre, your arrival at Wang Wat Wang Raka, you had some free time, vous aviez but du temps in libre. your statement Mais to the OCIJ, you say that Vous avez all monks, including you, tous les moines, were dont vous, directed or, or ordered to do the, the labor with your robe on as a monk. Que chacun portait encore l'habit de moine. So I would like to uh, know for sure from you. Were you Alors, ordered to? To do labor with your rope on, or, or you have some free time moine, for a while at Angraka, and later after you were defrocked, and then uh, you were ordered to do the labor. Et de Answer. Réponse. Let me tell you uh, my uh, experience. So I spent uh, a period of time, I didn't do anything, and later Anka came and told us to, uh, to do uh, the uh, dam construction at uh, Trapang Andak, so no one uh, could be free, so everyone had to do labor for uh, the regime. So at the beginning, uh, we had... Uh, 
a bit of free time début, and later Anka came Mais and told la suite, us Anka to, uh, to go to do a, a construction uh, of the dam. À la construction de ce barrage. So uh, were you doing that uh, when you still a monk? Yes. Quand response. vous travailliez, étiez-vous encore moine? Réponse: Oui. Question. Question. The construction of canal and dam was it a normal practice uh, for the monk to do that Était -il before the Khmer Rouge? Que des moines travaillent à la construction de canaux et de barrages sous les Khmer Rouge? Uh, respond. Uh, could you repeat your question, uh, prosecution? I don't. I don't catch that. Ou plutôt avant les Khmer Rouge, se reprend l'interprète. Réponse. Pouvez-vous répéter? Je n'ai pas saisi. Pro Prosecutor, I would like to know the labor you did, including Vous avez donc building à canal at and Was it the normal labor for the monks normal pour un before uh, the Khmer Rouge regime or in the uh, previous regime? Khmer Rouge, sous le régime précédent? Answer. Réponse. No, it was not non. a practice uh, for the monk. It's only after the liberation by the Khmer Rouge that they, uh, they order us to do uh, those kind of labor. But the uh, monks were not doing anything travail. during the earlier regime. Sous so régime uh, we were forced, uh, we were ordered to do those labor in our uh, robe as a monk. En portant l'habit de moine. Question. Question. Could you or can you refuse to do those order uh, to do labor? La possibilité de ne pas Respond. obéir à ces No ordres. one would uh, complain or refuse Personne the order. So no one, no one uh, refused. Personne. We had to follow the order. Il fallait obéir aux ordres. Question. question. Talking about working condition. Parlons so, à présent what des were de your working hours and how about Quelle your meals as a monk when you uh, do labor uh, during that time? Response. Réponse. So we were doing the same uh, labor as the lay people. Nous um, le même um, que so les we start uh, from 6 a.m. until 11 o'clock, uh, and then we start 1 uh, p.m. until 6 uh, p.m. The same as other people. Comme les autres. Question. Question. Did you witness any other monks who refused to follow the order of the Khmer Rouge? If so, de Khmer Rouge? Uh, can you tell the court uh, an incident that Le you cas witnessed? Échéant, pourriez-vous décrire un tel incident? Answer. Réponse. I didn't see anyone opposing or refusing to, the, to do any labor, so everyone de followed the order. Tout le monde obéissait aux ordres. Question. Question. When you were staying at Angroka Pagoda, was there any practice à la pagode or were there any Khmer Rouge cadre or any people pay respect or um, offer anything to monks des gens as uh, they were in faire des the past? Aux moines, comme de par le passé? Answer. Um, at that time, Réponse. the monks were at work sites. They were not Les at the pagoda. They had to do labor for uh, the regime. Travailler pour le régime. Question. Question. A while ago, you told the court that uh, soon after your arrival at the pagoda, 
Vous avez dit que peu de temps après votre arrivée à la pagode, vous étiez encore dans votre robe. Et then I would like to know and uh, vous avez quitté l'habit, mais que vous étiez resté un certain temps that, sans avoir um, There was no one pay respect, no one Par offer ailleurs, you any arms uh, food for the monks. Uh, could you do any practice um, as uh, praying or doing a sermon or preaching as you prêcher, did earlier at the pagoda? Prier comme auparavant? Answer. Um, the réponse. duty of the monks. So uh, we were so strong with the religion. Um, we would uh, do our pray and our sermon uh, quietly um, prier without any one notice. Le faire en secret. Question. Talking about uh, relation uh, between other monks uh, in the pagoda, um, could any uh, lay people or other villager uh, contact you or meet you uh, to offer anything to the monk? En général, pouvez vous rencontrer et Answer. Vous faire des offrandes? Uh, there were some réponse. old people who uh, came and uh, met with the monks and um, they would uh, meet with the monks when uh, they just arrived. But uh, only Ces all elderly people uh, who, who were at the pagoda at the time. Ça concerne uniquement les personnes âgées qui étaient à la pagode à l'époque. Question, was there Question. any prohibition for any uh, contact uh, with the monks? Les contacts avec les moines étaient-ils uh, interdits? The president, uh, prosecutor, could you ask your question again? Le président. Co-procureur, pourriez-vous répéter la question? Question. Question. Was there any prohibition... Uh, of any contact for monks and other villagers, or what are the reasons uh, behind interdit? that? Answer. Quelles sont les causes de la situation que vous avez At décrite? the beginning, it was not so strict. Réponse. Initialement, ce n'était pas trop strict. And after a month or two after the arrival of the 17 April people, uh, we could uh, avril, make uh, some contact with the old people who were living in the local area. So we, uh, we should, uh, we, we knew something from them and they told us that Um, vulnerable, you cannot stay um, in the pagoda and uh, practice in a way that you did before. You should go and work for the Anka. This is what I heard from all those uh, voilà old people. De de Question. When you uh, arrived to the pagoda and stay in Wat Angroka, How long did you stay before Combien you were uh, ordered to the frack? Angroka avant de recevoir l'ordre de quitter l'habit? The president, uh, president. Uh, when reference, uh, could you be um, uh, mindful with the microphone so it is uh, not activated? Que le voyant soit allumé pour répondre. Response. In 1975 until 1976, um, the monks keep leaving monkhood, and uh, in 1976, no monk um, left in a monkhood because they, um, all monks left the monkhood in 1977, and uh, we, those monks could not stay in the monkhood. And Donc the Khmer Rouge told them that you could not stay in your robe as a monk anymore. Uh, you have to uh, do the labor because the time travailler. and the regime is now different Parce than before. That's all. Avait
question. When were you uh, instructed to leave the manhood? Quand avez-vous reçu l'ordre de quitter l'habit? And uh, it was in 1976. C'était en 76. Question. Question. When you left the manhood, was there a ceremony for that process? Quand vous avez été défroqué, cela s'est-il Did you do it following the Buddhist practice? Avez-vous pu suivre la pratique bouddhique en la matière? Answer. Réponse. At that time, nobody wanted to do that. However, ne être it was the Anka à who instructed us to do so. A donné they then gave us uh, clothing and uh, shoes, and it was in black uh, color. Ces vêtements étaient noirs. And then we were told that we should leave the manhood before the end of 1976. Question. Was Question. any ceremony held? Une cérémonie for that? a-t-elle été organisée pour And ce faire? No, there was nothing. Réponse. There was no non. ceremony at all. And uh, one after another, the man had to leave the, the manhood. Younger man had to leave the manhood first, and then the other man would follow. En commençant par les plus jeunes. Question. Question. When you were ordered to leave the manhood, was a was a man. Lorsque l'on vous a demandé de quitter l'habit, instructed to leave the manhood at the time, or was there a, a ceremony for uh, a groups of uh, men? So was there a ceremony concerné? organized by Anka? A ceremony here, I mean, was there a meeting or a gathering for uh, certain men? Une réunion a-t-elle été organisée à l'intention de plusieurs moines pour leur demander collectivement de se défroquer? Answer. Réponse. At that time, I was in charge of all the monks there, and I was called to a meeting that uh, Anka had liberated the country and that nobody would uh, serve uh, nobody else, and everybody had to work based on the instruction of Anka. And nobody would have uh, free time anymore. Everybody had to engage in labor, everybody with no exception. And the time was now different from the previous regime. On nous a dit que le régime avait changé. Then we were given clothes, Ensuite, on nous a remis a des shirt vêtements, and a pants une and a un pair of shoes. Nous a également remis and then des we were instructed that uh, we had to leave the manhood in a month time Et and then to go and engage in building dams or dig canals. Et de nous rendre sur les sites de travail and pour that's construire what des was canaux. Uh, instructed by Anka. Voilà quelles étaient les instructions de l'Ankar à l'époque. Question. Am I right to, to say that Question. the person who was in charge of the si commune there uh, held a meeting where you were instructed to leave the manhood? And that was the time you left the manhood. C'est bien cela. C'est bien à ce moment-là que vous avez dû quitter l'habit. Answer. It was a meeting where plans were delivered, and later on we were uh, given uh, the clothing. That is at another separate occasion. Question. You just stated that uh, you were called Question. to a meeting by a, a person who was in charge of a commune. Was he male or female? Was the person male or female? Responsable de la commune qui avait organisé cette réunion. Answer. It was a man. Réponse. C'était un homme. Question. At that Question. time, what did that person say about his position in the commune? Que vous a dit cette personne à l'époque Vous a-t-elle dit qu'elle représentait la commune Vous a-t-elle parlé de rang qu'il occupait au niveau de la commune of the commune in charge of the youth. Cette personne nous a dit qu'elle était responsable des jeunes au sein de cette commune. 
question, did he question. ever come alone or was he accompanied by other people? Cet homme était-il seul ou était-il accompagné d'autres personnes? And uh, he came along Réponse. with a militia. Il était accompagné de miliciens. Question. Had you known that person who was in charge of Question. the commune before who came to chair that meeting? Saviez-vous que cette personne était le chef de la commune avant de participer à cette réunion? And uh, I knew some of them but Réponse. not all because of some of uh, the those uh, who came were rather toutes, young. Car uh, parmi ces personnes, il y avait des personnes très jeunes. Question. Question. Besides that meeting about uh, the uh, plan that Buddhist monks had to leave the manhood, Outre cette réunion, was there other meetings held, for example, a weekly meeting or a monthly meeting or an urgent meeting where you personally attended? Ou des réunions urgentes à laquelle, auxquelles vous deviez participer? Answer. Réponse. At that time, a meeting was convened every month à il y avait in order to strengthen the, the stance of the youth and everyone else. Visait à renforcer les membres de la population, les ancrer davantage dans leur position. Question. In in all those meetings, what Question. did they say about Buddhist religion? Que disait-on de la religion bouddhiste dans ces réunions? Here I refer to the meetings uh, that you attended while you were studying at Angroka Pagoda. Alors que vous séjourniez dans la pagode d'Angroka. Reverend, uh, please ask the question again as I did not get it well. Pouvez-vous répéter, s'il vous plaît? Je n'ai pas bien compris votre question. 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 You stated that there were meetings where they instructed on the strengthening of the stands. And my question to you is that while you were staying at Angroka Pagoda, in those meetings, did they mention anything about the Buddhist religion? Answer. Anka, including uh, the, the commune authority, stated that now everything was different from the previous changé. regimes, which was a capitalist. Que tout avait changé and now par rapport à there was no longer capitalist, capitalist, and everything had to be done according to Anka's instruction, and nobody would serve nobody else. Everybody had to strive to work hard to, uh, to have a common meal and to work Ils together. Uh, because in the previous regime, some people did not work and had a free time. Dans and now it would be different as pas. everybody had to engage in là, labor. Les choses avaient changé. Tout le monde devait se mettre au travail. Question. During that period of time. Question. Did you uh, know other Buddhist monks who either died or disappeared? Savez-vous si des moines que vous connaissiez ont disparu ou sont morts à cette époque? Answer. Réponse. Some monks only died when they uh, were living in Phnom Penh or when they were living in the provincial towns Certains of a certain province. alors qu'ils quittaient Phnom Penh ou d'autres provinces. That is during the time of the 17 April 1975, and at that time, Hutat, uh, something like Hutat, uh, was there 
And there were about 20 other monks who were also there in, in Phnom Penh. Later on, they all had disappeared and uh, did not know where they went. Question. My question to you is about Buddhist monks in Takai province. Did you know if any of the monks in the province died or was killed or disappeared during that time? Answer. Only uh, one man who died and I, uh, he was my friend. He died to the east of uh, Swai Prey, that is uh, near the, the market area. He told me that the three monks were tortured and killed by Anka as they proposed the Anka's that they opposed the Anka's instructions. Question. Later on, after you left the manhood, par la suite, lorsque vous avez été défroqué. Were you considered a, a former monk, a peasant, Avez-vous été considéré comme un ancien or a capitalist, ou or a new person? Ou encore uh, comme un capitaliste ou un membre du peuple nouveau? Answer: I was Réponse. considered a 17 April person. J'ai été considéré comme un membre du peuple du 17 avril. Question: Were you ordered to fill in a biography? Vous a-t-on ordonné de rédiger une biographie? Uh, Reverence, please respond again. Le révérend, pourriez-vous répéter s'il vous plaît? Please uh, repeat your question, prosecutor. L'accusation. Uh, Reverence, were you ordered to write Vérable, your biography? Vous a-t-on ordonné de rédiger votre biographie? And uh, no, I was not ordered to do so. Réponse: Non, je n'ai pas reçu l'ordre de le faire. Question. Question. Later on, what were you ordered to do? Que vous a-t-on ordonné de faire? Answer. Réponse. At that time, I was amongst the youth. À l'époque, j'ai fait partie d'un groupe de jeunes. Question. And where were you assigned to work? Question. Où avez-vous été envoyé travailler? Answer. In fact, uh, there were two provinces where I worked in. J'ai travaillé dans deux provinces. I was then returned to Wakampot province. Ensuite, je suis retourné because dans my de relatives uh, lived in a compound, but because I ordained and stayed at uh, Aroka, and after I left the manhood, I returned to uh, Kampot province as part Ensuite, of the youth group. Et je suis retourné dans la province de Kampot, où j'ai fait partie d'un groupe de jeunes. Question. What I uh, want to ask you is in relation Question. to your activities and experience within Takeo province only. activités de votre expérience dans la province de Takeo uniquement. Answer: I worked as part of the youth group, Réponse. digging canals and uh, building dams. Dans le cadre dams. de ce groupe de jeunes, j'ai dû creuser des canaux, construire des digues. Question: uh, Can you tell us the location? Question. Answer: It was right in Angroka. Uh, some of us were divided through Trepeng and Dak, and we stayed and worked at Angroka. Mais nous, nous sommes restés à Angroka. Question: What were the Question. working conditions like? Pourriez-vous nous parler de vos conditions de travail? Answer: Please repeat your question. Réponse. Prosecutor, I'd like to ask you about your uh, personal experience que vous nous de votre during the time that you were instructed to work at uh, Tropeng on Dyke. 
Lorsque vous avez été envoyé What were their working conditions like? Je que vous nous parliez de vos conditions de travail là-bas. Answer. Youth was the uh, stronger force Réponse. compared to the uh, le groupe des jeunes était uh, censé to the, uh, des older les plus people. Forts. We were the main force in dealing with digging canals and building dams or engaged in dry season farming. Pendant la période sèche. Question. Who was your Question. chief or supervisor at the time? Qui était votre chef à l'époque? Qui vous surveillait? And uh, please repeat your question. Vous répéter, vous plaît? Prosecutor, while you were, you were working there, there who Question. was your supervisor? Qui était votre chef lorsque vous avez été envoyé travailler? And uh, I did not know who was Réponse. my supervisor at the time. Je ne sais pas qui était mon chef à l'époque. Question. Question. So. How, who, who actually ordered you to engage in uh, that kind of work? Qui vous a demandé de faire ce travail? Let me repeat your question. Under whose instruction did you engage in working in that area? Qui vous donnait les instructions lorsque vous avez été envoyé travailler là-bas? Answer. We were Réponse. divided into uh, groups Nous avons été en from units and from, from units into groups, and I was uh, within a, a group. Moi, à un, un groupe. Question. Was there any work quota Question. for you uh, to complete? Y avait-il des quotas à respecter Aviez-vous un certain nombre de missions à accomplir And, uh, as for digging canal, it was 30 meters Réponse. long. Nous devions creuser des canaux de 30 deep, mètres de long, de 2 mètres and de profondeur. And 5 meters uh, for the, the top part and for the bottom part is 3 meters wide. Et and et that's for a group of 30 people to complete within a month's time. Il fallait les creuser dans un délai d'un mois. President, the time is appropriate for a short uh, break. We'll take a break now and return at 10.30 to continue our uh, proceedings. Court officer, please assist the reverends uh, during the break. I invite him uh, to the courtroom again at 10.30. We are now in recess. Something wrong,